Yo. Yo. You can actually isolate groups and work on them individually using the canvas inside Synfig Studio. Right, so I'm actually going to show you how you can do that. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to create a bunch of objects. Um, so I'm going to create circles, stars, and um, well, squares or rectangles. All right, we just call these squares, okay? Even if they are rectangles. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each of these in their own groups. So I'm going to group the squares together or rectangles. But I'm actually going to call this group squares and I'm going to group the stars together and I'm going to call these stars and I'm also going to group the circles and call these well circles all right so and the only way to see the canvas option is if you're on a group so if we look over here in the properties we can see that there's a canvas option but if we click on an individual layer we can't see it so just remember that you have to be on a group so I'm just going to right click this and click on export value and I'm actually going to call this the same name so I'm going to call it squares and I'm going to click on export and we've just created a new canvas okay so you can't see it here to see the canvas you'd have to actually go all the way up here and if I should click on this drop down list we see squares that we've just created and to open this up we have to just double click it and we see that the group opens in its own window and now we can as seen here and we can actually edit them separately from the main project and they actually get updated in the main project so if we go over to the main project you can see that they are updated um, as we, we move them yeah so i'm actually going to create a canvas for the stars as well so click on canvas uh, right click on canvas export value then i'm going to call this stars export um, and i'm actually going to look at it here so we can see the stars and i'm going to do the same for circles so right click canvas export value and type in circles and export and here we see hold on a moment let me try and open this uh, okay yeah so here we see we have all of our canvases okay um, so if I click on stars well double click on them we can open up each of them the stars and the circles right and again we can edit them separately and they will be updated in the main project here so when, whenever you have large projects, you can actually group like different parts or different elements of your project and just create canvases for them so you can work on them individually. You can think of different ways in which you can use the canvas options. All right. So um, I'm actually going to close these now. So let me close. Um, so I'm back on the main project and um, to actually see the main project options I'll have to double click this main one here and we can see all of our, our group layers right um, but notice what happens when I click on for example the square we only see the group that's within the, the layers that's within this canvas space right um, and if we click on the stars we only see the stars but they they aren't opening within their own window anymore. That's, that's what happens when you close them, but we are able to only see those particular layers. And the same thing if I click on circles, we only see circles, but you can actually manipulate the squares or the stars or any of the actual values within the, the space. Okay, so I'm back on the main project now. So I'm just going to click on the stars and you can actually change these groups to any one of the canvases. So this is stars, but I just changed it to a circle um, by changing it in the canvas option. And now we see we have two circle groups, right? And notice that in the layers, it changed the circles. So I'm going to go to circles now. Um, and well, actually I'm going to go to squares and go to the squares and I'm going to change this to circles again and now we have 
all the groups that are showing the circle canvas, right? All the options that are on the circle canvas. So, so yeah, it, as long as you have a group and you have a set of canvases, you can switch them out to whatever canvas you want them to be. Okay. So I'm just going to switch this to squares and we can see, right? Um, and something to note is if you make, if you click on any of the layers within a particular group and you make changes to them, they will update if that canvas is located within another group. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just playing around with this. Right, but by now you get the idea of how canvases work. Okay, so there's there's a lot of things that you can do with this, which hopefully in future uh, tutorials I'll be able to show you. Yeah, and by the way, you can actually animate this. So let me delete this first keyframe, and um, let me turn on animate. And um, I'm actually going to click on one of these groups now. Go to Canvas, and I'm just going to change this so it can it will automatically add a keyframe. Then I move down and change this to, for example, squares. Um, and then move down again and change this to circles. And then if I scrub through my timeline, we see the canvases change. They switch out. All right. So remember in an earlier tutorial, I think it was the previous tutorial when I said that basically you can animate any um, of these well most if if not all of these properties here all right so i mean that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one Yo.